Good morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review for Saturday the 4th of uh, June 2022. Uh, there was a race of interest yesterday, which was Friday the 3rd. We didn't actually bound there, but it was of interest, as we said, it was the Epsom 510. Uh, we were interested in this number 6, uh, Oscula. That came second at 11 to 4, uh, and the eventual winner was number 3, Evergreen, which won at 16 to 5. Um, if you watch the replay on that, uh, Arguably, uh, in our view, Oscula is the better horse, uh, but uh, obviously the result uh, uh, begs, begs us to differ. But if going forward, I would say that, bear in mind that that uh, was uh, running in the du Dubai uh, Dirt Derby uh, and uh, uh, it came last and we don't think it travelled particularly well and uh, uh, generally... Um, we think that horse will now be set up for the future. So uh, worth keeping an eye on our schooler. Uh, Evergreen uh, obviously uh, saw it off on the day, but uh, that's another story. Anyway, the uh, account was static because we didn't bet. It was 42.065 units in profit overall. So we'll stop it there and we'll write up today's racing. Right, we're back, we've written up today's racing then for Saturday the 4th. We've got no filter one, which is our structure filter. We've got no ratio uh, filter either, but we do have an alternate. And we're off to Ireland, it's Listowell. Uh, flat 215, it's a rated stakes, three year old, seven furlong, 15 yards, good. Uh, there's three horses in that race. Uh, there's number one, uh, Warren Beach, uh, has been uh, messing about in Maiden Company, and we don't think that's, uh, uh, that's uh, NG, so probably not good enough, uh, so get rid of that one. Uh, then number three, uh, Perfect Thunder, uh, second and the fifth, Curra, seven furlongs. Um, uh, we rate that as 69.88. Uh, that's inferior to our to our selection, which is this number two, uh, Mud Mudama. Uh, what's that been up to? It's had four runs uh, last year. Twenty uh, fifth of the the six twenty one Curra Maiden six furlongs, and then uh, the eleventh of the seventh uh, Fairy House six furlong good. Uh, so so it's. Uh, its earlier career was uh, uh, last year was um, was in uh, in sort of uh, speedier six furlong races. Uh, quitted itself uh, very nicely. That was on good. Uh, this is good. Uh, and then uh, this year it's come out uh, on yielding and soft. Uh, good to yielding. Uh, seventh to the fifth, uh, twenty two Nas six furlong. Uh, uh, but the key race here is this twenty first to the fifth, the the last run. Uh, Curra handicap seven furlong good to yielding. Uh, we rate that a seventy seven one hundred one. Uh, it's a, a vastly superior race uh, to anything uh, it's uh, had a go at. Uh, in these other two, have had a go at, and it's acquitted itself very well. We we'll expect a big run from this horse. And um, what have we got? Uh, we've got um, zero point two five of a unit uh, uh, on a, at uh, an average of three point nine to one. Uh, so basically uh, approximately uh, four to one. Uh, so uh, pretty decent odds in a three runner race. Uh, and not too decent to, to show that it's uh, uh, sort of out with the washing. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a tight race. This uh, Mudama should, uh, should dominate and uh, do the business. Uh, uh, Listerwell, uh, interesting, interesting course. Uh, they sort of, uh, the seven furlong start is there. It sort of hooks round. Uh, there and, and the uh, it's got a spur on it and the uh, the rest of the course is sort of got a like that anyway to to uh, give you an idea so it's, it's quite a uh, it's a two furlong running as well so uh, that will suit it it's got six furlong pace that horse uh, uh, and everything everything's geared up for that horse to win basically as far as we're concerned so we'll, we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll review it tomorrow thanks for subscribing uh, and uh, watching and uh, as I said uh, we'll review that race tomorrow uh, Sunday and hopefully move the account forward so uh, see you again tomorrow and goodbye